Okay, guys. All right. So I'm going to go live on here because we tried to do a Zoom with Whitney, but we had some technical errors and she wasn't able to hop on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go live and see if we can broadcast Whitney on here as well and see if she can come on here and share with us some of her words of wisdom. Um, let's see if it works. If it works, great. If not, then that's a-okay. Let me tag Whitney and see if she can pop on. And let me see if I can get Whitney on here. Let's see. Bring Whitney on. Let's see. Looks like it's going to work. Yay! I did it. I figured. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I do. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. This is amazing. Hey, April. <sighs> oh, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> we might have to start. If we do trainings with you and the Zoom doesn't work, we might have to start. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to our bonus training. I know Whitney did one on her team page because she couldn't log into the Zoom and <laughs> I didn't call because there are people who are already trying to log into Zoom. So we wanted to make sure that we covered all of that. So I have the recording from Zoom, but I'm also going to record on here. We're going to go live, answer questions if anybody has any on here as well, and kind of just cover some PRV topics. If and we'll make it quick. Yeah, we'll be very quick. Um, so before we get started, let me go ahead and say why we're doing this training. Well, number one, over 50% of our consultants and our team voted for high PRV. They want to know how to get high PRV. This is important because it's the only thing in your business that you have 100% control over. You can't control people joining your team. You cannot control if people are going to coach with you, but you can control if you're going to do sales this month. And it's the core of our business, right, Whitney? It's, I mean, it's the first thing you know when you join Sensei as a consultant is, I need to get sales. I need to hit shoot start. I need to hit certified. So if you're looking to, you know, work one thing and make it your best thing that you can do, high PRV is it. Higher PRV, higher paychecks. And then, of course, we're aiming for that 2K paycheck or that 2K PRV per month because, we want to maximize our bonuses. That 5% that we get, if you're brand new to Cincy and you're like, what are we talking about? Every single month, you have the opportunity to earn at minimum, sorry, at maximum 30%, minimum, maximum, <clears throat> um, without even having a team. Hey, Kimmy, good morning again. Um, so you can get up to 30% commission without even having a team. And we talked about this in our Zoom, the difference between having $1,999 in PRV and $2,000 in PRV is literally $100. If you sell $1,999, you're collecting $499.75 in your commission. But if you sell one extra dollar, your paycheck is an instant 600. So think about it that way. Don't leave money on the table. And I know that Whitney, the reason that I've been wanting Whitney to come on here and share a little bit of what she knows is because Whitney is a queen when it comes to PRB. Her PRB, she's like, no, no, no. But homegirl has over 2000 PRB already this month. I hope she's cool with me sharing some numbers, but I need to put it into perspective. Um, she's already over 2K. She's consistently pulling anywhere from two to five thousand dollars every single month y'all she is doing all the things and before i share a couple of good nuggets from our zoom call i want whitney to kind of share her stuff so whitney tell us the magic so i'll f first off and i told melanie this and i said i probably drop like they'll drop like flies once i say this and i say it every single time literally no secret sauce there's no secret sauce, y'all. I promise. Um, I do my follow-ups, which is huge because I build those relationships. And I, I just did, I just did say this to Melanie, and it was kind of like, hmm, that was pretty clever. Um, a lot of people don't want to build that relationship with people; they just want the sale. But you gotta build that relationship. You gotta build the relationship if you want to get the sales. Um, and I, and I just feel like that is huge. I, I know what it takes to 
um, to build the relationships, which means, you know, I may not have a hundred parties a month, but I'm going to build that relationship with my customers because I'm going to, um, they're going to keep coming back to me for the LTOs or the catalog items or the, um, the, um, warmer of the month, whatever it is, they're going to keep coming back to me because I've built that relationship. Um, or they're going to send their people to me. Um, and I just feel like, you know, it's because I built that relationship. Um, so when you say build relationships, talk about that too, because mm -hmm. I think that's important about like, what kind of relationships are you forming? How are you forming these tighter relationships with your customers? I'm not, I'm just, I'm a very genuine person. I'm a very genuine. I am not a, um, Hey girl. I'm not, and there's nothing wrong with Hey girl. We talked about this yesterday. There's nothing wrong with the Hey girl. Um, because some people are just, that's just how they talk. And that just comes very natural. That is not natural to me. So I don't, I try to stay away from that. Um, but I am very genuine with my people. I am a very, I talk to them about stuff other than Scentsy. I talk to them about stuff other than, um, you know, and it leads to Scentsy talk. It leads to, hey, is everything okay with your stuff? Is every, it, you know, do you need anything? It doesn't always lead to Scentsy, but you know, I'll wake up to an order, you know, that they placed that night. I do a lot of personal links. I will set it up even if I didn't tell them I'm going to. I've set them up a link and I'm like, hey, here's your link. Order when you want to. Share it with your friends if you want to, family. Um, you order a lot. There's nothing I can do about the orders before, but I will place I will place my some personal orders on their on their link if they've ordered before and I wasn't able to set up a link before. Um, I will place I will share their link with like on my VIP or like on my Facebook, like if I'm sharing my link, um, just to kind of make up for their orders that they missed out on before before I could set up their link. I do if you go to my my PWS. I've closed out a few parties since, but I have probably 25 or 30 personal links. Woo, girl. But so I do a lot of personal links because, I mean, it's easier to me. I mean, yeah. I have a lot of people that love their personal links. And yes, I know after 90 days, they're supposed to purge. But if you go in and you, you extend them and you stay on top of it, you can make sure that they stay open. Um, but I mean, don't let them, don't let them just abuse that, but like, you know, make them, make them aware that, Hey, after so long, we're going to need to have these wrapped up. But, um, I do love personal links. Um, I just set them up. I don't, like I said, I don't tell them. I'm just like, Hey, you shop a lot. Here's your link. Share it. Let's get you some rewards. You need free stuff. Um, club, obviously, I mean, that's a given. You know, that's, I feel like that is just free PRV for us. Um, I know that not a lot of people like to feel committed to stuff like that, but I feel like if you put it in a way, like if you put it out there in a, a certain way, it just, club is just a given. Yeah. And if you're treating it, like if you're, you know, we don't have to send goodies for club, but if you are, it all, and then take pictures of what you're sending your club people. It entices people to be like, what is this? What are you doing? What is this? You know, it opens up that door, you right. know? Um, but don't be scared to show what you're doing. Like, don't be scared to show off that you're making club boxes. Don't be scared to show what you're doing. I think sometimes I get in my own head too about like, I'm, I'm, I'm making these club boxes and I won't post a picture because I'm like, I don't know why I get in my head. We always, you know, I get, we get in our head, but um, don't be scared to show what you're doing because people need to see it. And if they don't see it, they don't know. Um, and when they see it, they actually want to be a part of, you know, they're like, Oh, I get extra perks. And I exactly, there should be no reason why they don't sign up if they're consistently buying because they're saving that 10%. And then they get extra stuff and there's nothing wrong with, um, spoiling them and you don't have to I'm not saying like we have to get we have to do this like you're probably thinking God, I don't want to do club if I got to send them stuff 
You don't have to. And even if you send them a scent circle of like the, the scent of the month, like if you don't do the scent of the month subscription and you just want to get a bunch of scent circles and you want to send them to your, um, your club people, do that. You know, like that's something. Um, but just to let them know that you appreciate them because that keeps them. That keeps them there. Um, just building trust. I, I don't know, just building trust. But also, this is huge. And I think this makes the, the biggest difference. I do have parties that flop. I will not sit here and pretend like all of my parties are glorious. But I am very involved in my parties. Um, I am very involved. Like, I am, I am, I keep my hostess involved. And if they don't, that's on them. But I am very committed to my parties. I am very fun in my parties as far. I don't go live. I just am not. Like, I'm not against it. I just have never been found the time to, like, sit and go live in my parties. I, maybe I should. Maybe I should commit to that and see how it goes. I don't know. I'm, I'm a very shy person. Um, even this with y'all that I trust and love and, and um, y'all are like family is, is tough for me just because I'm very nervous so um maybe i should i don't know but if you do give me pointers because i think that would be great um but i don't go live um i just don't i just don't it's hard with the kids and and finding time to do that um but i am very committed to my parties i'm a very like i like to joke around i like to build those relationships within the party i do not go and mass um friend request everybody in the party if they order, um, I, I do. If they do order and I don't feel like they have a consultant already, I will ask to be their friend. If I feel like they already have a committed consultant and they're just ordering from the party to be for their friend, I won't because I don't, I don't want to take them away from their consultant already because they're not going to, right? They're not going to leave their consultant, but if they're just doing it to, to, for their friend, they're not going to leave them. And for that's sure. fine. And that's fine. And we but, love, it. we want that loyalty from our people. Exactly. Too. And that's I, fine. If they're ordering a $30 order to support their friend for their party. Cool. Helps me, helps them, but they're committed to their person still. Um, but I do not go through and just mass friend request all these people that it just looks so tacky to me. But I do go through, if after they've ordered, I go, I go through and I send a, a message or I send a request and I send them a message through Messenger. And I'm like, hey, I appreciate your order. I sent you a request because I'm not, you know, sometimes you can't get message. And I leave it like that so that it doesn't look like I spam them with a friend request. Um, you know, because sometimes they can't see it if, they're, if you're not friends. But I like to look like that so that it doesn't look like I'm sending them a friend request so that I'll ask them to do a party or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like to look tacky. But I do like to let them know, like, hey, I sent you a friend request just because sometimes you can't see the message if we're not friends. Maybe that's tacky. I don't know. But I do that, and it looks innocent. <laughs> um, but if I don't do that, I do definitely send them an email right away that says, hey, I appreciate your order. Either way, I make communication. Mm -hmm. Um you know um but i keep I, I i i am in communication with an order place at all times i don't know i just i you just gotta be you gotta because i've been in i've been in direct sale order or or uh, parties before and i never heard i never got thanked i never heard from these people i never even knew if my order went through and i'm like you know what I mean? Like, I don't need you to come shake my hand, but like, good grief, did my order even come? Like, did they even get it for their party? Like, did yeah. it even attach? Like, I had to go look at my credit card statement. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't have to do that. You, every single person, even if it's a $3 order for a cent circle, that person should feel like they just won the lottery. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how you should treat every customer just that gold star treatment that we give them. Like you are amazing. You know, whether you bought one or 10 items, you are incredible so much. And it's that gold star level of treatment that you deliver to people that keeps them coming back to you. And it's not just in giving people 
free stuff. It's not just in giving people, you know, happy mail. It's the way that you communicate with people. And you know, I think that's very important to notice about you. And I know a lot of people don't know you like I do. So they don't know how you, you know, talk to people. They don't know how you treat people or your customers or your friends and your family. You don't take the relationship and just say, well, you're only a customer. You know, I think that's really important to realize when we talk about relationships in our customer base is if we look at every single person that has shopped from us, it's what I did yesterday when I was asking people if they wanted to help me out with, you know, party booking. I said, if I decided to reach out to this person or this person or this person, is there a way for me to talk to them about their life and how they're doing outside of Cincy? Because if not, then I don't have a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. So I need to work on having relationships with people. And we don't say be disingenuous and just have fake relationships. That's not what we want for people. But we know, okay, for one, I know that. And you too, because you live in a military community. So being at the age that we're at and living in a military community, friends come and go, right? And it's hard to make real friendships and I know I need friends. I need real friends. So that's what I'm focused on is making those real friendships. And I promise you, like, they're gonna know. They're gonna know what you do, you know? And if they're interested, they're going to say, hey, let's talk about Cincy. Hey, um, I see that you sell Cincy. I need this, this, and this. And then you can help them. But you can still maintain a healthy friendship with them. And it's the same for our teams too, you know, like I, I don't ever want my team to feel like I'm only reaching out to them when they've got PRV or they've only got a recruit happening or anything like that. I don't ever, ever want my team to feel like that. You know, I mean, it's easy to notice when they've got PRV on the table or they're doing good things or anything like that. You know, um, I mean, it's the same concept, you know what I mean? Like it, it really is. But, um, yeah, I mean, you got to be genuine in this business because people people know we're a direct sale and and th when they see you coming they automatically have their radars up. Oh, she just wants to sell. Oh, she just, you know, you and and so if they've got their radars up, they're already going to be like what do you need? You know what I mean? So if you already are on in the middle of the month and you're not at leadership numbers or you're not at whatever numbers you're wanting and you're going to you're going to people that you don't speak to um and they've got their radars up you can give it up like you're embarrassing yourself at that point like don't do it just don't do it find other ways to get your prv um post pictures of real life warmers and stuff that people haven't seen and be like be genuine about your post like put it out there in the atmosphere so that people see it and they want it but like don't but be genuine be mm -hmm. genuine about your posts um and don't and i said this in my group don't rely on the ltos they're great but they're not geared towards everybody you know what i mean like not everybody's gonna want all these amazing ltos the way we think they're amazing because we're you know we're addicted to this stuff like we love this stuff but not everybody's going to be geared towards all this stuff and they're not going to want all this expensive stuff because you know they may not want it and they and, you know they just may not want it and it as much as we think they're amazing they just it may not be geared towards them so don't don't rely on this oh this is going to be amazing this is going to be what gets me what i need it may not be right i, I had crickets in my vip page because when i posted about batman and that's fine. People may still buy it and they may still love it just because they're not saying anything on my VIP page. I'm still going to put it, put the stuff out there, but don't rely on LTOs to get you to where you need to be. Um, you know, we got a whole catalog full of stuff. We've got, you know, we just, we've got all this stuff at our fingertips that we've got to get through to the end of the catalog until we get a new catalog, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, parties are going to be your, you know, we're in, this is the business we're in. And if you don't ask somebody to do a party, somebody else is in that you lost your opportunity. So we're in the know. business of sales, you know, and being able to master your PRV and learning how to generate 
your sales is your bread and butter. Everything that generates longevity and wealth, meaning growing your team, you know, making those $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 and up paychecks. And yes, those are real, not mine, income disclosure here, but these are real monthly paychecks. It comes from a combination of your PRV, of sponsoring people and of coaching people. But regardless of whether you have 5,500 or five people in your team, you can't make 5,000 off of them if you don't know how to hit 500 PRV. And again, for leaders, in my opinion, we should all strive for as much as we can get. We need to try to maximize as much of what we can get. So 500 is the minimum standard for leaders, right? But 2000 PRV, 2K a month is monthly sales award. You get 30% commission instead of 25. And if I can control me earning 30% of my commission versus earning 25, why wouldn't I, you know? So I like what Whitney talked about. I think everything she said was spot on. She's always talked about it to people saying it's nothing special. Um, but I think it is something special in a sense because of what she's doing. You know, she's being very genuine in her communication and her dialogue with her customers. It's not just thank you for that sale. Um, I also want to share a couple of things that I shared on our Zoom about different ways that you can increase your PRV if you're looking to increase your PRV, that may, have, uh, may not have been what Whitney talked about. So a couple of things, let's talk about, you know, upselling. Um, this is something I don't feel like a lot of us do or a lot of us think to do, and whether it's because you're nervous about offering upselling products to people, or you just think they're gonna say no, so you automatically shut yourself down, or you feel tacky. Upselling is a big part of boosting that PRV by even 10%, you know, and that's what we're trying to aim for. So if you've got people that are ordering waxes and warmers, you know, think about what product goes with waxes and warmers that they might need in the long run, whether it's a cotton cleanup order. Now, cotton cleanups, I know they're out of stock. Don't come for me. I know. But bulbs are huge. We, we don't want them going out and getting Walmart bulbs, right? So if you're closing out an order with a warmer in there, or if they're buying a six pack of wax, hey, do you need me to throw in a pack of um, bulbs? $5. You'll get three bulbs. Yeah, go ahead and pop that in there. I might need them because you never know. They might need bulbs and they don't want to have to pay for the shipping of bulbs because it's expensive just to get bulbs. So offer the bulbs, offer if they buy nothing but waxes and warmers, think about different things that you can get them to try. I know you love wax. I know you love warmers, but hey girl, look, I've got this amazing new thing. You know, it's a wall fan or a mini fan. And I think that you would really like it because you like waxes and warmers. This is a heat free, mess free way to fragrance your home. Do you want to try it? Yeah, maybe I'll try a pack of pods or I'll get the mini fan to few. It's $15, right? Um, and then you get them hooked on more and more product, especially pods, because they're in so many different devices. Nobody else can sell them pods, right? You can't go to Walmart and buy Scentsy pods. They can only go through Scentsy. So think of different products that you can offer. We've got users. If you're closing out an order and they just get, um, you know, their pods, offer counter clean. Hey, do you want to try a bottle of counter clean this time? Do you want to try a bottle of Scentsy Fresh? Pick a ride or die product that you stand behind, that that is your product. Everybody knows mine is Scentsy Fresh. I use it every single day. So when I'm closing out these future orders, you know, I'm asking them if they want me to add a bottle of Scentsy Fresh to their order for them to try. So that's upselling, okay? It's not weird. If you've ever worked in the restaurant industry, which I know a lot of people have, you don't feel weird when your server asks you if you want a dessert. You don't feel weird if they ask if you want a beverage menu, a wine, a, do you want, you know, the alcohol menu. That's upselling because you don't want them just to order water. The higher their ticket price, the more money that you potentially can make, right? Um, the more tip you're going to get. So don't think it's a weird concept just to ask them to try. The worst that they can say is no. And no is not going to make or break your business. You got to change your mindset of, I can't, they don't want this. 
they don't like it. I don't like to do this. I can't do this and start changing it to, I can do it. I will do it. And we'll see what happens. Right. Booking those parties, like Whitney talked about parties are amazing for growing your network. You can't grow business with the five people that you know in your hometown because five people is not going to create longevity in your business. It's not going to create wealth, long-term generational wealth in your business. We'll talk about that on another day, but booking those parties. I booked four yesterday. I told Whitney, I talk about this. I'm very open with you guys, very transparent. I haven't worked my business the way I should have for the past two months, mental health issues that I, you know, I've talked about in the emails that I sent y'all here and there. Uh, I've shared some in my personal Facebook page. I've gone through a lot and I've gone through a lot of mental blocks for, I said, I can't book parties. I don't want to feel tacky. I don't want to ask people all of these things. And I didn't party. And you want to know what suffered when you don't party your PRV, your PRV, because you depend on the same 10 people or the same five people that you know to order from you. And when they don't, you don't have PRV or you're depending on your VIP group or depending on your, you're sharing on social media and you don't get the orders that you want. So now you got PRV. What if you ask those people that you have a relationship with, and this is what Whitney was talking about, have relationships with these people and say, look, I really need some help. I just straight up told one of my best customers. She has a Scentsy Club with me. She will not join. I wish she would, but she spends over $200 in Scentsy Club every single month with me. I said, Stacia girl, look, I need some help. I have been slacking. And she's like, how can I help you? What do you need? Can you book a party with me? Yeah, girl, let me do it for you. Do you see how that translates? So I'm not, hey girl, like Whitney was talking about, like, let me slide into your DMs and let me try to get you to book a party with me or buy a product. It's that I have formed a relationship with her that I can message her and just be like dude i need help or i can be myself and she genuinely knows hey i need help and she's willing to help me um or even customers that i talk to about random stuff you know if they're posting about vacation if they're posting about uh, a holiday trip or um birthdays or whatever i'm i'm there i'm saying happy birthday to them i'm telling them how awesome i hope their day is I mean, I'm having real conversations with them in their messenger that they know that I don't only come after them for a sale, but anywho, back to the parties, I squirreled. So parties, mm -hmm. I booked four yesterday because I sat there and I said, I'm going to book them. I'm going to reach out to people and four people did. And of those four people, you can bet I'm going to at least be introduced to at least, and this is just minimum, at least 40 new customers. And whether, and by customers, 40 new people, I should say, because every person's gonna at least add, you know, 10 people to their party, minimum. So that's exposure that I didn't have before. But now that you have that exposure to all these new people, you need to keep those customers. And you need to figure out have a sensei consultant like Whitney said or if they don't because if they don't then you're their sensei consultant and what you do from this point on is going to be a direct reflection of how they're going to treat you or if they're going to shop with you I should say in the future so if you're not following up with them when they order their product if you're not sending them a thank you um, I like to do a, a public thank you post on my party page and say thank you so much and i tag them and then i tag my hostess so she knows too and i go and look in the order history and i see what they've ordered and i get a real life image of what they ordered so that people can see what it looks like they can see what it looks like in real life i say thank you so much for your order of um that warmer i forget the mosaic pumpkin okay y'all can't see it i tried <laughs> mosaic pumpkin <laughs> or what well, I be careful with that too. I do that too. And then I be careful with gifts when they're a gift and somebody's in the party. Like if it's for somebody, mm -hmm. because it could be for somebody and then you've ruined the gift. So just be careful with that. About that. Yeah. Think Ask about me that. how I know because I've done it, <laughs> especially with Christmas I, I, coming up. I usually do that. <laughs> I've never had that happen yet. Oh, wait, no, I do have some people that have asked me not to, not to post 
that they ordered because you they say mystery sh shopper right but most times they let me know they're a mystery shopper most times <laughs> But Whitney's like, oh, I've, I've ran into some people. Oh, I messed up so many. I'm, in, I'm talking about all shades of red. <laughs> oh, no. And tears. Well, regardless, I like to let them know, like, I see what they ordered. And even if, even if you don't want to post a real life image of what they ordered, send them an email, let them know, like, hey, I appreciate it. Yeah. I think the pumpkin's going to look beautiful in your home. Mm -hmm. um, I have it in my home. And this is just one of my favorites. <laughs> and I'm so excited that you ordered? Do you have a Sensei consultant? And if not, you know, can I add you on social? Take it from there. If they say they have a consultant, thank them for their loyalty. That's key, right? We don't just let them drop off the face of the earth. Thank you so much for your loyalty. I know as a consultant, I appreciate that too. And I appreciate your support. Boom. Um, getting customer contact info is also a really big deal right now because let's talk about the fact that Facebook and Instagram shut down about a week or two ago, I don't know, for a whole day, right? Um, if you only follow up with your customers through socials, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, and for whatever reason, you decide to take your business offline, or we have no privileges to use these platforms anymore, how are you communicating with your customers? So when you're taking orders from people, I know I do this a lot, with people on my social media, they order through me, I invoice them through Square, and I put the order in for them. It is vital for me to ask them for their address, their email, and their phone number. These, these are three things that you put in Workstation, no matter what, right? Okay. Workstation as your, your address book, your permanent address book. But if I don't have that information, mm -hmm. I can't happy mail. I can't send them a thank you note. I can't send them a thank you email and I can't text them or call them if I don't have the access to Facebook or Instagram. So uh, make sure that you get all of their contact info. Uh, if they think or if they say, hey, why do you need my contact info? Why do you need my address? You know, I like to send my customers freebies or I like to send thank you samples or happy mail from time to time. Um, Amy is another valuable tool. If you are somebody who needs a reminder to follow up with customers. Amy is a valuable tool. I don't use Amy as often. I don't like it as often, but some people, you know, it is for them. And I think there is a free version that you can download and, or at least a trial to see if you like it. If you like it, use it. There's nothing wrong with having additional resources as long as it works for you. Um, referral programs are another thing. And I will caution you guys, referral programs are considered personal special. So whatever you do to reward your customers for giving you a referral is something that you need to remember. Personal special, one-on-one -on -one communication. You can print it off on paper. You can email it to them. You can um, tell them about it, text them, but you can't post it all over your social media saying, refer a customer, I'll give you $5 in product credit. I'll give you $5 off. You've got to privately communicate this. I love what Chastity Robinson talked about with her referral programs, which is what I'm going to tell y'all about. What she does is she lets them know, she prints it off and she emails and she says, if you refer a customer to me and they order, you get $10 in product credit. Now, she's not pulling $10 out of her pocket. You can if you want to use the perpetual party reward, which you get 50% off, you know, whatever. Um, and you give them up to ten dollars out of your own pocket you can do that but our method of doing things is you can give them ten dollars credit that you already have from your own parties that you have or you, if you're like me and you have tons of parties or whitney for yourself and you've got all this open product credit you can use you can let them pick you know and you can use that pc or um you know, you can send them something from your stash. Let them pick something from your stash. What kind of bars do you like? What kind of car bars do you like? What kind of um, fragrances do you prefer? This is what I have. I can send you this as a thank you. Um, if they refer a new host, she gives them a three pack of wax. Why? Because it's a step up from $10, but they're introducing you to a wealth of more customers. Again, use rewards use re rewards use what you have at your home um refer a new teamy get a free warmer obviously rewards you don't want to shell out 50 bucks in cash use the things that we have 
advantage to you as consultants to our advantage. I have a hundred, probably more than that, wax bars and probably a crap ton of warmers that I've earned for free or for half off that I'm like, yeah, I'll use it for an event eventually, <laughs> but I can gift because somebody referred somebody to my team to help me grow my business. Um, they're a great way to get your business out there, get people talking about you without having to host for you. Um, Whitney mentioned personal shopping links. That is genius. I have a girl that messaged me on Instagram. She said, I watch you spray your bed with Scentsy Fresh every day. I think I need some. And I said, mm -hmm. okay, well, we've got a bundle. Remember, upsell. We've got a bundle. You can get three for 29 and you can try a bunch of different scents so that you can figure out which one you like the best. And she said, that's a good idea. And then I said, okay, what I'm going to do is start a personal shopping link for you. All right. We can order it on here. And by the way, do you know of anybody that wants to add in an order with you? That way they can save on shipping. And she's like, let me ask my mom. Let me ask my sister, my roommate, all these people. Party. Okay, cool. By the way, you're going to get some rewards after your party, or not your party, but your link hits a certain amount in sales. And she's like, dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. And they're partying without even realizing it. So when you put that into perspective, she's thinking, I need to ask mom, sister, cousin, friend, coworker, roommate. All of a sudden, you've got $300, and she's got all this extra free stuff without realizing she's just partied. I know it sounds bad to be like, oh, without realizing. But, I mean she's doing they love their own link they love their own link link they're like yeah my name's on it you know i get to come in here and just boop, 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 and get my stuff and i get rewards from it so mm -hmm. that's a great way um networking on the go is another thing think about what you're branding yourself with you know do you have a scentsy shirt do you have a scentsy mug do you have a scentsy water bottle um you don't have to but i like this is this is separately people have seen my shirts or little shirts that i've ordered from other people that say ceo or whatever things that i've made for myself they're like oh what do you do i do sensi obviously if you i've got a kid behind me now if you have a sensi shirt it's very clear what you do do you sell sensi yeah i do oh i need a consultant or i've been looking for somebody Think about that. Um, other ways to increase that PRV, guys, is I have two more things and I'll let y'all go, but gift Scentsy. Uh, my little cousin's birthday was about a month ago and she just turned 23 and they were doing a birthday dinner for her at our family restaurant. They told me literally the morning of, and I could have gone to Target, I could have gone to the mall, I could have gotten her a gift card, called it a day. But no, I said, I'm going to gift her Scentsy. Now, obviously, I gifted her what I had on hand, body products. But really, guys, if you're trying to buy gifts, hello, Nora. <laughs> if you're trying to buy gifts for people, Black Friday, if you're out there in the stores or Christmas is coming up, think about gifting Scentsy. You're putting money back into your pocket. And all of the family members or friends or whoever that you're gifting to have an opportunity to try it. So it's kind of like a win-win for you. They get to try it. No, no, her decapitated bear. I don't know how the, it fell off, you know, but um, give them an opportunity to try the product, get hooked on it, love it, come back to you, but you also get PRV on it. So if you're already gonna go spend money at a big box retailer, you might as well support your own self. You know, it, that's, that's how I see it anyway. My family knows they get a lot of Scentsy from me and they love it. And if they don't love it, I'm sorry, but you get Scentsy. That's what you get for the most part. I do give other stuff to you, but Scentsy is, is big for me and they know that. And then lastly, we're talking about relationships. Um, a lot is what Whitney had poured into you about this earlier, this training. If you're struggling and you're saying, I don't have friends, or maybe I don't know a lot of people, or how do I meet new people? You know, I understand. And everybody can tell you too, like making friends is hard as an adult. 
finding people with common interests is hard. Join Facebook groups for things that you genuinely enjoy. Don't join those groups with the intent to go in there and market your business and make friends just to add them and just to sell Cincy to them and stuff like that. No, I join groups that I have interest in. So like hiking, Whitney and I are both in several of the same big Facebook groups. Like we're in a thrifting group. People share weird and cool finds when they thrift. We're both in probably decor groups together. Um, and we meet people with common interests. You know, I've met people from a backyard chicken that I met on that group asked me to join Cincy. I didn't ask her. I don't want to talk about Cincy to her. I just talked about chickens. And one day she said, hey, I see that you, you know, you've been doing Cincy. Can you share a little bit of that, you know, or share a little bit about Cincy with me? How do you do it? What's, you know, or I've had people ask me, hey, I see you do Cincy. I need some, do you, you know, do you have a link? And that's when I can say, yeah. But it's those relationships I built with them that did not involve the hustle, right? The relationships I built with them that didn't involve the hustle that make them say, oh, she's being a friend. She is a friend. So if you're struggling to meet people or feel like you don't have enough in common with the people that you've met throughout your, you know, your life, find groups. Find things that interest you. If you like anime, if you like gaming, if you like sports, if you like hiking. I'm even in a group that has, it sounds like 1950 housewife. Like, I don't know. I love the 1950s. Whitney knows I love it. I love the, the decor. I love the dresses. I love seeing all that stuff. And I've met some people. So um, I coach. Sure. I coach at my... Um, my local community cheerleading stuff and I meet moms there and no I'm not sitting there I have not mentioned Cincy to a single mom but I wear my Cincy stuff and I've given them a sense circle just because and I know like hey if they want to have Cincy in their lives one day they'll reach out but they know who I am and they know that I, you know I don't talk about it I don't spam them with um only reason I gave them Cincy was because we did a coach's gift for all of the kids the first day of practice, and I gave them parents a goodie too with my stuff on it. So they know what I do. I don't have to speak about it every single day to be about it. Um, Michelle wrote, I volunteer at my daughter's school and I wear Cincy shirt. Yep. For Aiden's uh, open house, I brought his teacher a little goodie bag with Cincy Apple stuff apple room spray appealing apple wax bar and scent circle stuff like that and i let her know like i appreciate her and if she needs anything um this is my contact info i introduced myself to her and i had a conversation with her about aiden throughout the school year obviously that's bad but you can market yourself in that way without having to feel like i'm being very tacky but those are some ways that we know you know, if you're looking for ways to grow your PRD, hopefully you found value in what Whitney had to share. I love seeing her grow in this business. And like, I, I've never seen somebody be so consistent with having 2,000, I mean, 2,000 to 5,000 PRV consistently. And while she might say it's nothing special, but in a way it is something special because a lot of us forget to have that genuineness with people, you know, because we're behind the screen or we're typing away and we forget that back in the day when you had relationships with people, you met up with them, you went next door, you had a coffee with them, you know? So Whitney, you're a rock star, like Michelle said, I think you rock your business out. Clearly what you're doing with your customers, the relationships that you're building, is working so i applaud you i hope y'all have learned a lot from her i'll post this on youtube as well that way people can learn from it but change your mindset guys change your mindset you can do this you can have high sales remember to ask if they need anything else if they want to try something else if you don't ask they won't they won't know they don't know or they'll say no um 
make sure you get their contact info. Do referral programs. Treat your people right when they help you, right? Um, gratitude goes a long way. And if you're shopping for gifts this holiday season, shop yourself. Gift the gift to Cincy so that they know how amazing our stuff is. They won't know if you, you know, I have people in my family. Sorry, I have blah, 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 that happened in the background with Norm. I have people in my family that didn't support my business before. Like they just didn't order anything. And for Christmas, I sent them Scentsy wax warmers and bars. And guess what? Ring, ring. Hey, I like that stuff you sent me. Can you get me some more? Here, I can get you some more. What kind of sense you want? Okay, let me hook you up. So they wouldn't have known if I didn't put those products in their hands, right? But thank you guys that are on here. Thank you, Whitney, for <laughs> thank you, Whitney, for being on here. Thank y'all for being patient. Yeah, I had, I'll try to get it figured out. But Woo, we we tried. We tried really hard on Zoom. My kids are still in PJs. Dad's I know. Getting... I gotta go check, make sure mine are still in the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, girls. Well, All right. thank you for hopping on. We'll talk to you later. Say bye, Nora. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>